Well, Teresa Strasser is here. You've seen her on the show before. She's a comedian. She's a television personality. She's a radio personality. And most importantly, she's new mom who can't stop obsessing about her new baby. So she hit the streets with some questions about baby etiquette. Take a look. Hey, Dr. Phil. So I first came on your show. I was eight months pregnant. Now I have a 16-month-old. But when it comes to the world of baby etiquette, I'm still kind of a baby. So I came here to get some answers. Okay, so your kids are in a restaurant and they're just completely freaking out. What do you do? You, you bail. You're like, whose kids are those? I like your style a lot. What do you think of shrieking babies on planes? It is 100% yeah. parents' fault. Am I allowed to touch a pregnant person's stomach? No. But I mean, there's a human child just coming out at me. I want to touch it so badly. But it's not yours to touch. Is it rude to ask when someone's due? I just would never ask anyone if they were pregnant. Two months after I had delivered, people will still say, when are you due? And I'm like, two months ago. Unless that baby is actually crowning and you can see it coming out, don't ask when she's due. Charlie, do you like Dr. Phil? That's a yes. <laughs> you see an ugly baby, what do you say? <laughs> we lie through our teeth, and then we go home and mock the baby. There's no, there's all children are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Teresa has a new book called Exploiting My Baby Because It's Exploiting Me. You had to explain that title. Okay, well, as a writer, you know everything is fodder. But when I was pregnant, I was worried, if I write about this pregnancy, will people think I'm just exploiting my baby? So I called it that. Yeah, well, okay. You know, you got to look the boogeyman right in the eyes. Yeah, so uh, I've read this, actually, and um, you, you talk about everything. You said you used to be really private. Yeah, about I, things, and then all of a sudden, once you have a baby, you talk. You're pregnant. You talk about anything. Yeah, I talk about hemorrhoids, which, by the way, there is a bright side because I think that's nature telling you get up and move around. <laughs> Maybe lay off the cheese wheels. You said your biggest worry was becoming like your mom. Yeah, I was terrified, but I was really scared that. I didn't have the stuff to be a great mom because I didn't have a great mom. I mean, I always used to joke, she should have named me and my brother Burden and Buzzkill. It was not her thing. And I will say, while she was not a great mother, she's a great grandmother. She's watching my baby right now. So how is the baby? Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. I, I made a lot of, you know, pro oh yeah, that's Nathaniel. I love him so much. I made a lot of proclamations before I had the baby, like what kind of mom, I was like, I was never gonna have boring conversations about my baby, and yet we could sit here and I could go on about the difference between Aquaphor, Balmex, butt paste, you know, for three hours. I know, but you have a grandbaby, I so am, you know. I do have a grandbaby. You grand change baby. the diapers? Um, you get in there? No, Robin? I, 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 no. Oh, no, this is our granddaughter. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah. You must be so excited. Yeah, I really am, and she likes me pretty well, actually. She does? Yeah. Who does she like better, you or Robin? Oh, Robin, for sure. There's no <laughs> question about it. I mean, when Robin walks in the room, she starts kicking her legs yes, and going Yes, when they crazy. get happy, when they see somebody, yeah. they do See, here we are talking about babies see? like old people. These aren't stories. I know, but I thought when I got pregnant, I was scared. Like, what if both my ass and my mind wear mom jeans? Yeah, that'd be bad. You know, like if I become a complete bore, then I realize I'm already a bore. But so you got really sideways with Nancy O'Dell in this book. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. Has she read the book? No. No? I, I really... She's okay. a good friend of mine, oh, so... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it's out of jealousy. I couldn't be more jealous of Nancy O'Dell. She's beautiful. She's got a very successful career. I'm on AM radio, Dr. Phil. But she wrote a pregnancy book called Full of Life. And um, she talked about her main symptoms were her extra glowing skin and glowing hair. Meanwhile, I was like barfing, I had hemorrhoids, my skin was breaking out, and her biggest problem was how to redecorate the nursery. You know, I hated her. And then in the end of the, her book, she says, one day I was crying and finally my husband said, babe, and he calls her babe, finally my husband says, babe, what's wrong? And she said, uh, I'm just so happy. And then he said, you have postpartum elation. And you know, when you're pregnant, you're hormonal, and you know, you're swollen, I had cankles, I threw the book across the room. She's yeah. too perfect. You had a question for me, what is okay. it? Okay, all right. Well, you and Robin are incredibly classy, and particularly Robin is a beautiful dresser. Now, my mother, who as you know, has come around, and now she babysits, 
She showed up to, uh, we'd go to the little mommy and me gymnastics. She was wearing an extra large men's shirt. It was tie-dye with dancing bears. It was red and orange. It was so bright, like a kid had a seizure. How can I get her to dress in a more tactful manner? <clears throat> you need to pick your battles. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is not a battle you want to pick. It was tie dye. There's yeah. dye right in the word because I, I died inside. I know, but you don't want to pick that battle. What you want to do is be so glad that she's babysitting your child. Yeah, for free. Yeah. The low, low cost of nothing, right? Yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> Teresa's new book is called Exploiting My Baby Because It's Exploiting Me. If you read this book, you will laugh till you are sick, I swear. But it's also very insightful. People will relate to this. All right, next, amazing results. And thanks to Teresa Strasser. Her new book is called Exploiting My Baby Because It's Exploiting Me. And everybody in the audience is going home with a copy. All right? So you got that. Thanks for being here. So long.